Finally on a to messy crash at a North Lincoln intersection leaves people who live nearby searching for solutions. Some neighbors are telling us the crash was bound to happen at that location. Chetelis Courtney Scordia has been speaking with people there about what they want to see done. Rod, this stop sign here is the only thing controlling this intersection at West Fletcher Avenue in Northwest Second Circle. And people who live in the area tell me it's causing headaches for drivers because traffic backs up when people have to wait to make the quick turn. I'm having to make a split decision and then step on the gas because cars just whip around way too fast coming from the west. Danny Munderlow lives in an apartment complex at West Fletcher Avenue in Northwest Second Circle, where this crash happened Monday night. You can see the damage to the two cars involved in this video I posted on our now local news app. Munderlow tells me the intersection is often backed up during rush hour. School traffic, also Kawasaki traffic, and then just, you know, everyday residential traffic, people going to work. So it's nearly impossible to get out of there within like, 10 minutes, you're, you're going to sit there forever. She says this causes drivers to turn quickly without thinking. There's just not a lot of time to, I guess, to one, act quickly and swiftly. Uh, you really do have to make a quick decision of when you're going to go. Another resident who didn't want to be on camera tells me she's seen at least three crashes since living there. She and Munderlow both say the intersection needs something other than a stop sign to control the traffic. Traffic signal would be nice. It, a lot of kids live in this apartment building. There's some that ride little dirt bikes around, electric dirt bikes. It's There's been too many close calls with kids and the intersection. It's just a terrible intersection. Brandon McGarren with Lincoln Transportation and Utilities tells me officials use national traffic standards to decide what needs to be done at intersections. There's been four crashes in this area. There's also an expected yearly vehicular movement of 5 million vehicles. He says that doesn't meet the requirements to add a traffic light or roundabout right now, but LTU will make sure to keep their eyes open. We will continue to monitor it and have the data available to make improvements when necessary and warranted. LTU tells me they're constantly looking at ways to improve the roads to make Lincoln safer, and that includes evaluating which intersections need traffic lights. Reporting in Lincoln, Courtney Scornia, Channel 8 News.